Hello and welcome back everybody to another video of Dragon Quest. Last time we were playing we made it uh, to Octagonia by way of Dundrasil after fighting um, and fighting and seeing King Erwin. I uh, forgot to turn my recorder on last, uh, during my last video, so we started in Octagonia, or, land, or left off in Octagonia, and we were going to go and find Jade, so that was the uh, mission yesterday. And as you can see, I now have her. I had to save her from Booga, who had her under, had her, her under an entranced uh, spell. So I had to knock some sense into her head, knock her out, and then I had to fight, fight Booga. And uh, yeah, I had to do it by way of casino, of the casino. I had to go and get a whole bunch of stuff to be able to get a love potion to be able to be able to open the door. Um, but did that, got that completed, and then now we are going to be continuing on. If you like what you see, hit that like button, and subscribe, and without further ado, let's begin. All right. We're gonna keep going now. Oh. Gonna make our way to the strand. Hours. I'm looking for a pillar of light that leads to Snipleheim.
How'd that feel? Nasty. Stronger. Thanks to Mortagon. You will not be so fortunate this time. In the name of my lord and master, I shall send your broken bodies to the bottom of the ocean. That's grim. Well, this isn't looking good. If Pearly Gates can he do the trick, I, I don't very well know what can. Is this? Oh, it's the word of advice stuff. Your, your hand. The power of the luminary. Stop! 
up, laddie. Without that barrier, we should be able to land a blow or two. Or a lot. Right, you lot. Time to finally put a wee dent in our friend here. <laughs> you worms really believe you can defeat the mighty Eritherin? You will sink without trace! I don't think that... Is it my turn? So you can do, Jade. Mountain mover! Things. Yes, smart. Very good, thank you. That, I was going to say, that would hurt otherwise. Thank you for healing, Rob. Witness the power of a true disciple! 
nearly a door. Seven hundred and sixty six. That ought to hurt. Not to give in. Give me your lives. Uh oh. Showed you, you oversized sea slug. Think you're a match for the luminary? Think again, pal. Excuse right, me. we better get a move on. We need to give Mordigan a good hiding before any more beasties like that one come a growling. Yes, we First, do. We need to find out how we can hurt him. He still doesn't know you're alive, but it's only a matter of time. Best get a move on, eh? <laughs> Indeed. of Yggdrasil has changed everything. It's more than likely Sniffelheim didn't escape unscathed. Most likely not. Which is why I think we'd better check in on Queen Frisabel before we head off to Arborea. That all right with you? Right. We're away to the castle to see the Queen. While we're at it, why don't you lot take a look around town and make sure everything's okay?
What's the matter, Eric? You look like you've seen a ghost, lad. It, it's nothing. I'm fine. You want us to take a look around town, right? I, I'm all over it. You don't look fine. On second thoughts, you're coming with us. You're in no fit state to be wandering around on your own. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be a burden. Come on now, laddie. This isn't like you. Chin up, eh? A stroll to the castle will do you the power of good. <sighs> All right, here we are in Sniffleheim. Let's go heal up somewhere over here at this campsite. Cheer up, your majesty. It might never happen. What's got you looking so glum? <gasps> <laughs> Lord Rab! And your friends, too. I am so happy to see you safe and well. Aye, the feeling's very much mutual. A lot's happened since last we met. Indeed. Indeed. Yggdrasil has fallen. The world has been covered in darkness. Gold fever ravages my kingdom. But we survived. Some were not so lucky. What's that now? Gold fever? Is there something going on around these parts we should know about? There is. It all began a few weeks ago, you see. A strange disease started to spread across Sniffelheim. It affects people, animals, even plants. Anyone or anything that catches it turns entirely to gold. To... gold? We don't know what causes it, or how to cure it, so every one of my poor subjects lives in fear of being struck down next. I tried to send for help, but every route out of the kingdom is blocked by great golden obstacles. We are completely cut off. My dear friend Kristalinda was studying the illness to try to find a cure. But in their panic, my people suspected her of spreading it instead. For her own safety, I was forced to lock her away in the dungeons. Dang. I have tried to tell my subjects she is innocent, but they simply will not listen. They are blinded by fear. This awful disease has turned my kingdom upside down. There, there, your majesty. Danny looks a crestfallen. We'll get to the bottom of this for you. Oh, thank you. 
You are always so very kind to me. I will let everybody in the city know that you are here to help, and that they must help you in turn. Take care, dear friends. Hmm. Gold. My gold. What's that, Eric? Gold fever, huh? Everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Not exactly. You see, the queen seemed awful sad. Mm. 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 Ah. Hello there, madam. Do you have a minute to talk to us? We'd like to ask you a few questions. Do I have a minute? He asks. How can I know when every second might be my last? You do well to leave this place before you turn to gold, too. <gasps> Wait, I know you. You're that boy, Eric. You... you know me? Oh, don't be silly. Everyone in Sniffleheim knows you. You're the... The what? Oh, no! This can't be happening! Oh. What's the matter, dear? Uh, are you okay? It's... It's... Got me. Oh, that's freaky. I take it this is a case of gold fever. It's horrible. Oh no, what's up, Eric? Eric, honey, are you okay? Tell me where it hurts. Eric? I heard a commotion and came running. I never thought that I would find you here. Do you know our friend, Father? He's an old pal of ours, but we lost him after the fall. And I fear he's taken a blow to the head somewhere along the way. He doesn't remember a thing about his life before then. Oh, my poor child. Perhaps I can help to jog your friend's memory. Come to the church by the city gates. And I will tell you what I know of his past. Okay. Excuse me about that. Sorry. <clears throat> Oh, you are the man.
Probably that black paint dot right there. Yep, it was unmarked. There you are. I am glad to see you safe and well, Eric. It has been five long years since last we met. Wow, it's a long time. I was here five years ago? Did I used to live here or something? Not quite. The Viking raiders, who once roamed the northern seas, would often stop here to buy supplies. ...or to drink away their ill-gotten gains at the inn. And when they came, Eric... ...you came with them. Uh, I'm... ...Viking? <sighs> so that is why the men I sent to scour Heliodor for details of your origin would always return empty-handed. You were born here... ...a Viking. That's interesting. Not born one. Eric and his younger sister were orphans. The Vikings found them, took them in, and raised them as their own. Whether that was for good or bad, I really couldn't say. By all accounts, they treated the poor children like slaves. Then, one day, we heard rumors that Eric's sister had passed away. And though the Vikings returned, Eric never did. Stop. It has always saddened me that I was not able to help those poor children more. Perhaps if I can help you to recover Eric's memories, it might... I said stop! I need to be alone for a while. That's fair. Forgive me. It was tactless of me to reveal so much so soon. Please, go to your friend. I will join you when he has had a chance to settle down. Okay. Checking if I could save my game there. Apparently, I can't.
Hey, Eric. Huh? Hey. I'm sorry I ran off like that. It's just... Oh, uh, we get it, man. Oh boy. Is that? Yep. That ship, if the townspeople's shouts are anything to go by, it is not a welcome sight. Sounds like it. I will take care of Eric. Please, you must hurry to the harbor. It's a lot of monsters. Holy crap. Empty your pockets, sniveling Sniffleheimers. It's time to pay tribute to the great and glorious Kildegar. All your gold belongs to us. Come on, you clattering curs. Let's get to work. Grab the golden statues and load them into the longboat. All right, we'll go the other way. Move it, metal-headed morons! Get the statue back to the ship! You don't want to keep gilding a waiting. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> the monsters are making away with the people who were turned to gold. Could the fever be their doing? What are you looking at? Mess with us, and you'll have to answer to the great and glorious Gildiger, shining star of the Spectral Sentinels. Mm -hmm. Cease your boastful blustering, fiend! You dare disturb the peace of this fair nation? Then it is you who shall answer to us! <laughs> you think you can stop us? Feeble flesh bags? You're not even worth stealing! Hey, the boss only likes two kinds of humans. Gold ones and dead ones. Let's bury them, boys! Your funeral. I win. <laughs> Their companions are fleeing. After them. <laughs> Over there. <laughs> <laughs> Eric! They've got Eric! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! How? Why? 
<laughs> so I don't Never mind why. Down. They must be stopped quickly. <laughs> <laughs> We were too slow. Oh, Eric. You'd think with all that gold. We are that getting it would. that boy back and we are doing it right now. Where's that priest? He'll know where they've taken him. <sighs> the sink. You'd think because it was too heavy. Yay, plus. Yay. Cold blow. Nice, this. So what we got? Ooh, Dendrocellian helm. Here's where I think I'll stop this video for now. Thank you for watching. This has been Lion of Hyrule. Next time we play, we will be going and seeing where we can find Eric to bring him back uh, to the party and uh, continue on in the story. Until then, this has been Lion of Hyrule, and I will catch you next time.